Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I thought it'd be fun to do uh, an unboxing of the two small box expansions that came in the New Age wave of content. Uh, so not including the, uh, the Into the Wild one. So we have the Ancients and Shattered Dreams. Um, so yeah, let's uh, get started. Um, so I'm pretty excited to get these. Um, Aeon Zand is one of the favorite games, so always excited to get more content for them. And so, yeah, we have the two. This is Shattered Dreams that we're opening here. Um, so we have, first of all, the Nemesis. So we have the Wailing. Um, it is difficulty six. Uh, on each effect, the player with the target token gains two cracked onyx. That player passes the target token to the player on the, their left. Okay. Um, then we have, I guess, the... Yeah, there's the target token. Pretty good uh, thickness. Um, and then we have power tokens here. Um, I guess those can be replaced by dice, maybe. Uh, and then we have nuke. Uh, which looks very uh, unique. You have a cl closed breach. It looks like three closed breaches and only one open. And then you may destroy a card in your hand or discard pile, gain four ether. You might place the next spell you gain this turn into your hand. Okay. Complexity rating of nine. That's interesting. Um, and then we have the new cards. So let me just open... So we have a Mystic Orb. This looks like a relic. Did he start with a relic, does he? Yeah, he st so these are the starting cards for Nook. So Mystic Orb. Uh, then you have Ol Olivenite um, for Cash Glass. Reflective conduit. Um, what else? Will Weaver. Two charges. Looks pretty good. Breach Seeker. The exciting spells now. Breach Seeker. It's an echo spell. Uh, focus any alley's breach. So I presume that can be done. You can focus the breach twice. That looks pretty, pretty powerful to get if you can get it early game. Hmm. Um, Crescendo Ray, three damage, gain one ether for each other spell you have prepped. Hmm. Uh, Storm Vapors, three damage. If there's another in any player's discard pile, focus any player's breach. Mantra, Mantra of Strength, any player focuses their closed breach with the highest focus cost. Deal one damage, you may destroy this if you do, deal two additional damage. So it seems to be quite a, there's a few here that focus on uh, getting breaches focused. Uh, Embody Flame is five damage, cost seven. May destroy a card in hand, or in this card's supply pile if you do deal three additional damage. That uh, reminds me of a, a gem in, I think it's the New Age Wave, where you can destroy a gem in the supply pile. Uh, and you do three damage. I think it's Energized Rubidium, is it? I can't remember the name. And then Snap Ritual. Um, okay. And then the next one. So we have... These are, I think, just more of the remaining market cards. And the Nemesis deck. Uh, so yeah, this remaining Snap Ritual... Then you have some randomizers for all the cards, all the market cards, and then the whaling deck, um, nuke randomizer as well. Uh, yeah, and then treasure, a couple of extra treasures. So you get Vidrax's uh, tourmaline shard and Mazahedron's world heart shard. So I think he was in the War Eternal wave, and she was in the the base box. Fractured Shell, that's a level 2 treasure. Seer's Bracer, level 3, extra dimensional lens, level 3 as well. 
and then yeah we're into the whaling cards so there's the craft onyx cards um oh there's quite a few here um and then yeah the remaining power cards and yeah all the whaling cards interesting shrapnel skin wing it's at level three well wow. okay uh so that's uh shattered dreams uh, excited to get that hopefully we can get a playthrough of with, with these on the channel and then you just got the whaling last whaling one so we go on then to the ancients let's see what we have in this one and we have again that's everything so we'll start with the nemesis. Uh, we have the Wanderer. Uh, any pylon gains two life. Any player suffers two damage. The Wanderer gains three life. Okay. Mm. Let's see. And then we have two mages here. So we have Mazra. Um, interesting. So complexity rating six. Um, looks like you have a special breach as well. Uh, the research breach um, and then Q uh, form token hmm, interesting um, and then yeah this is I guess when you play a gem gain uh, Q's form token um, yeah and then there's the research breach for Masra okay Okay, so those are the, the two, you get two mages in this one. Um, and then we have the cards, the market cards. Um, and we have Mazra's Studies, um, Mazra's Wisdom. Okay, what does Mazra start with? Uh, yeah, Maz one Mazra Studies card in each, uh, in her hand and one in her deck. Um, and then Mazra's Wisdom, Mazra's Ark, Mazra's Inferno, Gift, Change Form, Relic for Q, what does Q start with? Uh, yeah, he has one Change Form and one Melded Radite. Yeah, and there's Melded Radite. Shining Fluorite. Okay, we're into the market cards now so those are the gems polyphase turbine relic breach extractor focusing conduit okay so that's another attached relic i think that was introduced in the new age uh jewel flash um dust caller and that's the spells uh and then i So here we have the remain the last dust caller spell and then symbiotic synapse another spell and we have the randomizers randomizer for the nemesis and the two mages remnants void shard is the gem uh, and then another Oh, treasure, sorry, treasure gem, treasured spell. Uh, so they're all le level one treasures, which can be used in the expedition mode. Level two uh, treasures and then level three. Uh, and then we're into the wanderer cards. So this this is the pylon minion. And the base, and then the regular uh, tiered wanderer cards and uh, we get some upgraded basics here as well so those are also used in the expedition mode so yeah um, that uh, wraps up the, the two unboxings here um, yeah I'm excited to, to get these uh, into a match um, hopefully we can get one of those up on the channel soon um yeah let me know uh, if you have any thoughts or comments 
Otherwise, um, thanks for joining. I uh, hope you can join next time.